Okay, this video is for all of my friends that have pit bull trailer restraints. If you have a pit bull trailer restraint, you know what it is. You know how it works. For the most part, it's a great piece of uh, equipment. I've made two modifications to two parts of the pit bull system that I think are extremely helpful. And I want to share them real quick with you. First thing on these clamps what I did was I took out the pin there's just a cotter pin on that side and inside of there you'll find two very thin washers and a third washer on the outside here I took those three washers out and I replaced all three of them let's see if I can get in there down that side with one thick washer and what it did, it took up all the side-to-side -side slot as I'm trying to push it. So that helped firm up uh, that connection point. The next thing I did, while I'm still looking at this one trailer clamp area, is I added three set screws. I added one here, one there, and one there. So I drilled the holes, threaded them, and then I put three stainless steel bolts in there. And that really firms things up. I've loaded my bike into the center position. I'm gonna give it a shake and see how... You can hear the trailer moving, but there's virtually no movement at the connection points. So I think it's uh, well worth doing if you've got the pit bull system. All you need is a drill, a tap, some stainless bolts, and about two or three or four or six, I guess, uh, washers that are thick that'll take up the slack in the clamp. So if you have a pit bull restraint system, trailer restraint, <clears throat> I hope this helps you. Cheers.